Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to solve probability problem which usually we can find on the exams for medical students which is called false positive or false negative. And here is a the problem. There is a test for allergy to cats but this test is not always right. For people that really do have the allergy the test says yes in 80% of the cases or of the time for people that do not have the allergy the test says yes 10% of the time or false positive. And here is a question if 1% of the population have the allergy and test says yes what are the chances that person really has the allergy. As usual I recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your oven first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. We can solve this type of problems using three different methods one is called 1000 another one is uh, biosarium and we also can solve this problem uh, using forked line method which we usually using in genetics and I am going to use this method today for kit line method which is very easy and if you were afraid of this type of problems on your exam now after I will show you how to use it you would be uh, lucky if you would get such a problem on your exam because you are going to solve it within just couple minutes. According to our problem we are told that 1% of the population have the allergy. So we have a population where 1% have allergy. So has allergy. That means that 99% uh, of the population doesn't have allergy. So let's put not doesn't have uh, allergy. One more time our first step was to separate the whole population into two distinct groups. We also know that for people that really do have the allergy the test says yes in 80% of the time. So 1% of the population are allergic and if we test this 1% in 80% of the cases we are going to get uh, yes as a result that these people have this allergy and that means that another 20% are not going to have um, according to the test allergy. Those they do have an allergy and they belong to this group but because test is not accurate we are going to have 20% of the people who would have this allergy but would test negative. So we would say that this is going to be false negative. Now let's check another statement for people that do not have the allergy. So they belong to this group. The test says yes 10% of the time. So false positive. So let's put another line here and this is going to be 10% which don't have this allergy but would test positive because test is not accurate. So we put yes and they are going to be false positive. And this also means that 90% of the time these people who are not allergic and also test would show correctly that they are not allergic. So they would be not allergic. So as you see these frequencies, these percentages stand for the test accuracy. Next step would be just to multiply uh, frequencies. For example for those who test positive and they are true positive so we have to multiply 80% by 1% and we are going to get 0.8%. We also have people 
who has allergy but tests show that they do not have allergy. So they are false negative. So we have to multiply 1% and 20%. So we have to multiply by 1% and false negative are going to be 0.2% of the whole population. Now let's consider this path. 99% of the population doesn't have allergy, but due to test accuracy would test positive. So we call them false positive. So we have to multiply this 10% by 99%. Or we also can say we can multiply 99% by 10%. And we are going to get 9.9% and this is going to be people who doesn't have allergy but would test positive as if they have allergy. And now let's consider this pathway. 99% of the population doesn't have allergy and test show they do not have allergy. So we also have to multiply these numbers. So 90% times 99%. And we are going to get here 89.1%. If we add all these numbers here, we are going to get 100%. So this number plus this number plus this number plus this number, we are going to get 100%. 0 0.2 of this population would be false negative. They would have allergy but would test negative so false negative and also we are going to have 9.9 percent of the people who don't have allergy but would test as if they would have allergy and this is going to be 9.9 percent of the total population again let's check our question if one percent of the population have allergy and test says yes what are the chances that person really has an allergy? So how many people in this population would test positive? This is going to be this pass. 1% uh, has allergy and they do really test positive. So this number. And we also have among this group of 99% of the population who don't have this allergy but due to test accuracy would test positive and this is going to be 9.9 percent. So let's combine these numbers. This is going to be 0 0.8 percent plus 9.9 percent and we are going to get 10.7 percent of this uh, population, this whole population who would test positive for this test. But only 0.8% would be true positive. And as you remember, this is false positive. Again, our question, and if test says yes, what are the chances that person really has an allergy? So we have to divide uh, 0. 0.8 who are people who does have this allergy and test positive. So true positive by total number of all people who test positive. And this is 10.7%. But most of them, as you see, false positive. So we have to divide true positive by total number 10.7%. And we are going to get an answer 7%. One more time, if you test positive, it doesn't mean that accuracy 80% will give you 80% chances that you are really positive for allergy. Actually, as uh, you see, we have found that actual number is 7%. 
is a probability if you test positive that you really have allergy for cats. It took me about 10 minutes to read and explain this problem, but on the exam it shouldn't take you more than a couple minutes to build this forking line diagram and solve this problem. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.